Today's drug is memantine, brand name Namenda. The pharmacologic and therapeutic class is that it's an N-methyl-D-aspartate or NMDA receptor antagonist. Dosage form and strength. The medication comes in an extended release capsule in a 7 mg, 14 mg, 21 mg, and 28 mg strength. It also comes as a solution in a 2 mg per milliliter concentration and a 10 mg per 5 milliliter concentration. It comes in tablets in a 5 mg and 10 mg strength. Indications and dosing for adults. The main indication is for moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease. The treatment dose is 10 mg by mouth twice daily. When initiating, start at 5 mg by mouth every day with 5 mg per day increases every week up to a max of 20 mg per day. Doses greater than 5 mg per day should be administered twice daily. An off-label use for memantine is in dementia that is related to Parkinson's disease or for Lewy body dementia or vascular dementia. The dosing is similar to when treating Alzheimer's disease. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology It is proposed that overstimulation of glutamate receptors lead to excitotoxicity and neuronal cell death causing Alzheimer's disease. Memantine is an uncompetitive antagonist of glutamate receptors located throughout the brain, specifically the N-methyl-D-aspartate or NMDA glutamate receptor. Memantine blocks receptor function, affecting magnesium binding and suppresses excessive stimulation without affecting regular neurotransmission. Memantine is well absorbed. It is partially metabolized hepatically with three metabolites formed that have minimal activity. The medication is around 74% excreted in the urine with pH-dependent tubular reabsorption in which alkaline urine reduces excretion. The half-life elimination is around 60 to 80 hours, and memantine is around 45% protein-bound. Special Populations and Considerations For the renally impaired, the AUC is increased by 4 to 115%, and the half-life is increased by around 18 to 95% based on mild to severe impairment. For the hepatically impaired, Half-life elimination increases by around 16% in moderate impairment. For women, they have around 45% greater exposure of the medication when compared to men. For immediate release to extended release dose conversions, 10 mg per day of the immediate release is comparable to 14 mg per day of the extended release and 20 mg per day of the immediate release is comparable to the 28 mg per day of the extended release. Side effects. Some common side effects are aggression, fatigue, back pain, cough, dizziness, headache, constipation, anxiety, and depression. A serious side effect is Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Drug interactions. Some considerations to make for drug interactions with memantine is that it is an MATE1 substrate as well as an OCT2 substrate. It is also an OCT1 and 2 inhibitor, and it is pH sensitive. Some contraindicated drugs of note. Avoid the use of dofetilide. Monitor with procainamide and cautions with drugs such as cimetidine, amantadine, entecavir, ondansetron, verapamil, and pramipexol. Monitoring parameters. Monitor the creatinine at baseline, as well as conducting periodic tests of cognitive function, activities of daily living, and instrumental activities of daily living. Patient counseling information. Memantine is approved for use in Alzheimer's disease. It is very important to note that memantine does not cure Alzheimer's disease. It also has off-label uses in the treatment of various forms of dementia. 
Mamantine may only improve functions such as memory, awareness, and the ability to perform daily functions. The medication can be taken with or without food. And extended release capsules may be taken whole or opened with the contents taken in entirety.